In this uh, segment, we'll talk about the heart of birds and mammals. The reason why we are discussing these two together is that structure-wise, they have the same structure. There is only one difference. So, let us talk about the common things and then we'll talk about the differences. The common things are that the heart of birds as well as mammals is four-chambered heart. That means there is complete separation of oxygenated blood and deoxygenated blood. Out of these four chambers, two are auricles and we represent them as left auricle and right auricle and two are ventricles. That means the complete separation of the ventricle has taken place. Then the accessory chambers. If you are able to recall, in fishes, both the accessory chambers were there, that is sinus venosus and conus arteriosus. Then next category, amphibian, sinus venosus was there. Whereas the conus arteriosus gets modified into truncus arteriosus. In case of reptiles, sinus venosus is reduced but is still present and truncus arteriosus is lost. It gets divided into three arches, one pulmonary and two systemic arches. In case of birds and mammals, sinus venosus completely merges with the right auricle. That means it is lost. We don't see any such structure. Later on, when we talk about the detailed structure of human heart, we would discuss what has uh, happened to this merged part of sinus venosus. So in case of these two hearts, that is birds hearts and mammals heart, sinus venosus completely merges with the right atrium or auricle. That means it is lost. Truncus arteriosus has already uh, divided into the branches in case of reptiles. Here, that truncus arteriosus, it divides into only two branches. So, arteriosus is not there. It has divided into two branches. These branches are, one is known as pulmonary arch and the second one is known as systemic arch and there is only one systemic arch only one pulmonary arch which is arising now let us see the structure in a brief as we said there are four compartments and complete partitioning has taken place this is what we are talking about the auricles these are the ventricles. We'll label all these structures when we come to the heart of human beings. But just to understand that these two are the auricles and there is a septum in between. That means there's complete partitioning of auricles as well as of ventricles. So in case of birds and mammals, this is the left atrium. This is left ventricle. This is the right atrium and this is the right ventricle. This septum which is completely formed is the interauricular septum. This is completely developed and this is also seen in case of certain reptiles like crocodiles, alligators and even gavialis. So those were certain reptiles where four-chambered heart was formed. Now we are talking about the common things. We said sinus venosus has merged. So in this, the sinus venosus is going to merge somewhere. Truncus arteriosus has divided. It is no longer a structure. Instead, we find two branches. One branch is pulmonary arch and other is systemic. So this compartment, it receives deoxygenated blood with the help of blood vessels 
which are known as superior and inferior vena cava. Left one receives blood from the lungs through pulmonary veins. That means deoxygenated blood comes here and oxygenated blood comes here. Uh, when the auricles contract, deoxygenated blood comes into the right ventricle and oxygenated blood comes into the left ventricle. The blood from right ventricle has to be sent to the lungs for oxygenation. That means from here an arch would arise and this arch is going to be the pulmonary arch. Detailed structure we will see the valves and everything when we come to the structure of human heart. Here we are trying to see how the differences are. So this is the pulmonary arch or pulmonary artery. And then this artery divides into two branches, one going into each lung. The second one is the systemic arch. Now systemic arch arises from the left ventricle and it takes oxygenated blood to all the parts and this is the same artery which we call the aorta. Now this is where the difference is. In case of mammalian heart, aorta takes a left turn, it bends on the left side and it goes here. So it is arising from the left ventricle and it takes a turn and goes like this. So this is the aorta in case of mammals and it, there are branches as I said we'll talk about those details a little later. Now in case of birds hearts everything is same except for this aorta or systemic arch after arising from the same left ventricle instead of going to left goes from the right side. So how would that be? It would be like this. It is the same arch. Instead of going on the left side, it will be on the right side. So this would again be aorta in bird's heart. So the difference between the two is in case of mammalian heart, the systemic arch or aorta, after arising from the left ventricle, it goes on the left side. And that is why it can also be termed as a left systemic arch. In case of birds, the same systemic arch arising from the same compartment that is left ventricle instead of going to left goes on the right side. So it is known as right systemic arch. So here we will write that in birds, this systemic arch is on the right side. So it is known as right systemic arch and in case of mammals the same is on the left side so we call it left systemic arch so except for one difference the heart of birds and mammals is same four compartments total separation of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood Sinus venosus is completely lost. It has completely merged with the right auricle. Truncus arteriosus is also lost. It is divided into two arches, a pulmonary and one systemic only. Pulmonary is same in both, that is birds heart and mammals heart. Systemic arch is again only one, but in case of birds, it goes on the right side or from the right side of the heart and in case of mammals it goes on the left side. So we call it left systemic arch or right systemic arch. Otherwise the structure is all same. Now the next segment we will take up the actual structure of human heart.